Hi, are you a coach, consultant, or a personal brand who want to build a branding website to showcase your services to position yourself as the go-to expert and have traffic coming to your website? This training is going to help you. In this training, I'm going to walk you step by step. You're going to watch over my shoulders how I point and click and set up a website. You can do this in one day. If you really focus step by step, you can finish setting up your branding website in two hours. Unless your job is a branding expert or a website designer, you shouldn't spend too much time on building your very first website because that's not the most important thing in your business. However, it is important for you to understand the principles behind setting up a branding website and how to do it from scratch. So even in the future, you want to hire a professional to redo your website, to update your website. You understand the basics so you know who to hire and you know the type of work involved. So this is a principle I want you to understand before we walk you through the step-by-step -step plan of setting up your very first branding website. Here are the things you're gonna need to build your branding website. Number one, a domain name. You need a domain name. Domain name is a thing you type in the browser like google.com or facebook.com. So that is the domain name. When you set up your first website, you need to think about what is the domain name you want people to access you. Is that your own name? Consider, is your own name easier to remember for people to type in the browser? Or you can come with a brand. For example, my website for spiritual life coaching is mindrealities.com. It's simple and for, it's easier for people to remember it. So that's the thing you need to consider. Do you want to use your own name? For my online business and mindset coaching, I use my personal name as the domain name, suemazano.com. So that's an example of using your own name for the domain name. So you need to consider, do you want to use your own name or you want to use a brand name that's easier to remember? The second thing you need to set up your personal branding website is web hosting. Web hosting is a hosting service. Web hosting companies provide computers that are permanently hooked up to the internet. So when you do business with them, when you buy web hosting with a hosting company, you are buying the right to use their computer to present your website to the world. So when someone type in your domain name, they are actually accessing the data on that computer. And that computer, the web hosting company provides to you, is permanently on the internet, uh, have your intellectual data stored. So that is web hosting. There are different forms of web hosting, just like imagine you're trying to rent a room. There are different options, right? You can have a, a shared room or you can have a room to yourself and then share bathroom, share kitchen. You have some shared properties or you can have the entire room all to yourself. So that's what we're talking about. The web hosting companies do the same as well. There's also another form of web hosting that's cloud-based, meaning they have the web hosting company has data centers in different countries, in different continents. If a website visitor comes from North America, for example, and the data center showing your website to the visitor is in North America. However, if a website visitor coming from Asia trying to access your website, perhaps they have a data center in Hong Kong. So that data center is presenting your website data to the Asian visitors. You get the idea, that's the cloud hosting. So you want to get a hosting that cloud based because it's, it's faster speed. So far we covered two things you need, domain name and web hosting. 
However, when you buy domain name from a domain name company, you buy web hosting from the web hosting company, you need to connect the two, which, which is why you need name server. Name server, to put it simply, it links your domain name to the actual intellectual data stored on your web hosting company. I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to set it up. The fourth thing you need is WordPress and a theme. So you need to buy a theme from a theme company. WordPress is easy to understand, easy to use, and you need a theme that's drag and drop. So you see the end result of your website building. You can just add some blocks, add a block of text or image. So that's the drag and drop. You do not need any programming skills that will make your website building so much easier. Now let me walk you through each and every step so that you can set up your website today. Here are the action steps we are going to take. First, we're going to buy a cloud-based web hosting. Next, we're going to buy a domain name. Next, we're going to set up domain name servers by using Cloudflare so that we link our domain name with our web hosting. Then I will show you how to set up your business email account by using G Suite. Next, we're gonna set up FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol for easy FTP work. We're gonna use FileZilla. It is a free tool that you can easily access your server and download or upload files. And finally, we're going to install WordPress onto your domain so that you can start building your website. Are you ready now? Let's go and get your cloud-based web hosting. To get your web hosting plan, once you're there, click on Get Started for free. And now it takes you to the sign up page. Here, because I already have an account, um, this is my info. And here you can see this drop down uh, to store password. This is the last pass. This is the service that I highly recommend is free. Once you get that, um, all your accounts on the internet, you can store the passwords in your LastPass account so that you don't need to remember any passwords. When you go to the website, particular website, it's going to pull out the passwords automatically for you. You don't need to remember any of the lengthy passwords. So that's why I want to explain why you see this thing here. If I have multiple accounts with uh, Cloudways, it's going to show up um, multiple passwords. All I need to do is to click. You know, I don't see the password. I don't type the password. So this is super convenient for you once you have a lot of accounts with a lot of um, um, companies and services, etc. Here for this purpose of the demo, I will use my other email, clicks to success.com, my business email. Here I will enter a password and agree, start free. See here, the last pass says, do you want to add it? You know, I can add it. Now we are set up. See now, let's uh, sign in. Let's go back to cloud, um, cloudways.com. And click on platform. Here we can log in. Now the last pass is showing me two passwords now. I can click on the drop down. I use the email sue at clicks to success.com. So this is the one I use and click login. This account has been blocked. So let's check the email. I need to hear and confirm 
got an email, activate my account. So now I logged in. First thing I need to do is to set up applications and server details. Here you select your applications. Obviously we want WordPress. I just name it demo server, demo project. Here is the plans I can choose. This is a the default is to in DigitalOcean. Something I need to explain here is that cloud um, cloud ways they offer server management. If you remember that I in the previous module I mentioned. There are two types of uh, web hosting, managed and self-managed. So here are the actual web hosting. These are great web hostings, but they are, you need to know server language in order to use these servers because they, you have to self-manage. So what Cloudways does is Cloudways, using their services, they offer very cheap management. That's why Cloudways is, um, so much better for people who are n not so tech savvy. So here you still need to choose which um, web hosting company. Here you can see you can choose the plan. Here one of the plan is meant for testing. So this is not good for WordPress. So you have to choose the the data uh, server size here, and this is your monthly bills. And here let's choose the uh, um, water. And this one is only $11 a month, one GB. If you compare digital ocean, one GB is $17 a month. So why not choose the system cheaper and uh, in terms of pricing and technology. So I recommend that you choose this one and select your server location. So this is where the server is located. They have different locations. I will choose somewhere close to me. So I choose New York here. So that's all we uh, need to do. And now launch, launch now. And here's saying you can access knowledge base here. They have a large amount of uh, knowledge that you can look up. They have a lot of trainings here to help you better understand web hosting. And here it's gonna take a little bit. So I'm just gonna pause and wait until it's installed. All right, it's all set up. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So give it plenty of time for the server to set up. This is what you see after you set it up. So mm, here, you have two days of free trial and then you can upgrade your account to pay $11 a month for the web hosting. And here is your server. This is the web hosting company, Vulture you're using and I named it demo server. So in the later, you can add more server and name a different name. So the name doesn't really matter here, just for you to remember and recognize the server. And if you scroll down a little bit, they have very detailed step-by-step -step training. If you have an existing web hosting, for example, you can transfer to cloud ways by following this instruction, less than three minutes instruction. It's very straightforward. That means you can transfer from another hosting company to cloud ways very easily. And now let's go click the server name and let's go inside here. Here you can, uh, this is a, a guide server navigation here you can check uh, different settings here you can add applications and stuff next here is showing you the project details and here what is important here is your master credentials and it should be only visible to you because i'm doing this demo 
and I'm gonna delete this server later anyways, so I can show. But for your purposes, you should never expose it to the public and、uh, don't share with other people. Copy your server IP and let's paste in a text document for now because we're gonna use it later. Let me enlarge this. Username and password. Copy. So now, we set up the server already. Next thing we are gonna do is to buy a domain name. We are going to use Namecheap because Namecheap, as the name suggests, is cheaper domain names. You get who is protection for free. Who is protection is very important because if you don't have it, people can look up. Your domain name, your registered email, your address and phone numbers, your personal information will be out in the open. Therefore, you do need the Who is protection. And with Namecheap, the Who is protection is included. Otherwise, you're gonna pay additional about ten dollars a year. So here you sign in. I already have an account. I sign up already. So if you don't have an account yet, click sign up. And here I can sign in. Because I have the last pass, I can choose which account I want to sign in, and this is the one. So after I log in, this is what I see. This is what you can see, and now you go to domain names, click on registration. Here, find a new domain name. Where in this demo, we are gonna do mind. Realities. dot com. So just a little sidetrack a little bit for a domain name, it should be short, concise, and easy for people to remember. So when people come to your site, they may need to type in their browser, and something very easy to remember will be very beneficial to increase your traffic. Preferentially, you don't want any dash in the domain name because it's just harder for people to remember and type. And、uh, you want to choose .com because for the vast majority of people, unless they are in the internet marketing niche, the .com is the only one they know. It also creates authority because it suggests that you are a company. Therefore, you choose the .com. Now do the search. Let's see if this domain name is available. So this domain name is available, and the associated domain names related, you know, dot me, dot store, those are all available. Done online, and dot word is only one eighty eight a year. But like I said, you want the dot com. If the for the domain name you want to buy, the dot com is already taken. And what you can do is you change the domain name slightly, or maybe add on more. My reality is now, for example. You know, you do something that you get the .com domain name. This domain name is available, so I'm gonna add to cart. I view my cart. And see who is guard is free for now. And now confirm order. Here I already have the credit card on file. I just do continue. I'm not a robot. Select all squares with street signs. Street signs. Pay now.
and now it's done. So we have a domain name and web hosting. Let's go back to name cheap. Go to account dashboard. See now we have a domain name mindrealities.com and we can click here to manage. But for now, we don't need to manage yet. We're going to come back later. So now we have a web hosting, we have a domain name. Next, we need to do it to set up the DNS to link the domain name with the web hosting. To do this, go to cloudflare.com. This is a service that I highly recommend. Cloudflare is a very reputable service. The reason I recommend Cloudflare is that this service is fast. It's a cloud-based. And uh, most importantly, it also helps secure your web hosting. If a normal website visitor visit your website, Cloudflare will forward them to your web hosting. But if a hacker who is malicious to your website visit your domain name, Cloudflare will block them from accessing your server, therefore protecting your server from malicious actions. So if you don't have one, sign up. If you have one, log in. This is a free service. So once you log in, your list of websites will show here. What I need to do is to click on add a site. And here I type in my new domain name, mindrealities.com. Begin scan. So Cloudflare will pull out the information associated with this domain name. It's going to take a little bit, not, not too long. Now I finished scanning the website. Now click on continue setup. And here is uh, the record we need to change. These are the records pulled up by Cloudflare. Here are things, uh, some things we need to modify. First, we can click all this uh, MX because we're going to change later. So here we have a A type, we have mindrealities.com and uh, this domain name is pointed to this IP address. I need to change the IP address to my server IP that we take down earlier. So I need to copy this and to change this to my actual server IP address. Paste. And not only that, here we need to add another record, another A type. This is when people type in your domain name, myrealities.com, it point to my actual web hosting. I also want to make sure when people type in www.myrealities.com, they also point to my hosting IP and click on add record. So I need to delete this one. Add record. What is this is telling Cloudflare is when someone type in www and my domain name, it goes to my web hosting. If people type it without the www, they still go to my web hosting. So the browser recognizes them as two identities. Next, click on continue. Here, free website, choose the free plan, continue. So here's what you need to do next, because we set up in Cloudflare here, and we need to go back to name cheap and to set up uh, the name servers there too, uh, the Cloudflare name servers. So let's copy this first one, copy and go back to name cheap. So we need to tell name cheap 
to let Cloudflare to handle the DNS. That's what it's saying. So let's go to the web um, name chip and my domain name, click on manage. And you scroll down here, name servers. Now I need to change this to custom DNS, name server one, paste, and name server two, copy this one, come and paste here. So what we are doing here is to tell name cheap to let Cloudflare to handle the DNS here, click on this, save. I said it may take 48 hours to take effect. So now we set up uh, the web hosting plan. We got a domain name. We set up uh, the domain name server in Cloudflare. So we did the three, first the three actions. Next, we are going to install the WordPress and then next do the FTP. And in the last, we'll set up the G Suite because it's a lot easier to do it this way. To set up the WordPress, let's come back to the server. And what you should do is click on this icon on the lower bottom right. And here you can, you have different options and you click on add app. And here you want to install WordPress on your website. So click on WordPress, name your app. And here you already set a project folder. Click on add application. Now it shows here we have two applications installed on the server. Let's click on this. You know, there's two WordPress we installed. So let's choose one of them. Here. We are in this app. Actually, this is a demo website. So let's do here. Uh, you can scroll around here to have different um, options. You can do the domain management. This access details is application URL. Here, the URL. And uh, you want to come to here, domain management. And here you enter your domain name. We do mindrealities.com and save changes. So a WordPress website is an app inside the, the cloud ways. We set up WordPress app and then add the domain name here. So once you add the primary domain to this app, so you actually it's easier that you change this app name to your website name. So you can change the app name to your website name. It's easier for you to identify. So once you change the primary domain name in this app, you can go to the access details. And here your application URL changed your domain name an admin panel. This is your admin access. You use this username and here's the password. And this is a MySQL access. So here let's uh, copied. So let's copy to the notepad. Password this username. So let's go to myrealities.com word. Let's go to this website to log in to our WordPress. So here, username and password to access our WordPress. Username is this. Copy, paste, 
and password is this. Copy and paste. And by the way, you should expose your, you should not show your username and password in the public. So this is a demo tutorial. Of course, I'm going to change the username and password later on. So I can log in. Now I have my first website. We can visit the website by going to, uh, let's go to mindrealities.com. Let's see what it looks like. So here is a website that um, I can modify. So now let's come back to our action steps. First, we bought a cloud-based web hosting plan. We bought a domain name. We point a domain name to the web hosting server with Cloudflare and we installed WordPress. The next thing we want to do is to set up an FTP via FileZilla. So this will be able to allow us to access this, the server much easier. You can Google the name FileZilla and the first one FileZilla-project.org is the official website. So once you come here, you can download. This is for Windows. If you want to download the version for Mac, which was what I did, you can do FileZilla for Mac and search for FileZilla for Mac here and download the, the FileZilla for Mac. Once you have the FileZilla installed, it looks like this FileZilla and you open it up. And here on the left is your local computer and this is your server. So you can transfer your files from your local computer to the server. You can uh, drag, uh, if you want to upload something, you can simply drag from your computer to the server or download from the server to your local computer very easily. So here is once you open this, you go to file. Here you have FileZilla, go to file. Click on Set Manager. Um, set Manager, you have your website here. These are the servers you set up. So let's do a new site. We'll do demo. So this is the, our demo server I want to connect to. So the host, this part, let's go back to this um, um, text uh, editor. We pasted our server IP here. So let's copy this. This host is our server IP. And here the protocol, we choose the secure FTP. And login type normal. And username and password is your master key. Here, username and password is also from your, your hosting. I'm going to show you quickly how to get them if you didn't uh, paste the, into a text editor. And password, let's go back here, the password here, copy and delete this, paste and do connect. Trust this host. And here I'm on the FTP. So to get to your uh, website, you go to click on applications. Here are two applications. Uh, this, uh, so this is when you go up a level, click, double click that. So here, of course, I don't recognize these. These are website. These are the mind realities. Uh, one of them is the website. So I need to make sure this name matches my domain name. So let's come back to the server. I can click on you know, here, the two applications in stored my realities is the one that I want to access. And here on the left application settings In application settings uh, here, you can see the folder is this um, uh, bunch of letters so that's hard to recognize. If we go back to FileZilla, you see this is the one HD starts with HDS here HDS. So this is my mind realities. I want to change this folder name to my domain name. Only lowercase is uh, here. So save. 
So now the folder is my realities. Let's go back here. Let's go up a little bit. Go up one level and now go back to applications. It may take a little time to update. So let's close this and reopen FileZilla. So when we reopen FileZilla, go to File, Site Manager. And here I can choose between servers. And um, this demo is the one that we are using. We already entered the hosting IP, master, username, and password. And click on Connect. Applications. Here I changed. It didn't really uh, delete this. It's still there, but created a new one. So these two are linked. So all you need to do is to deal with this, my realities. Uh, you can ignore that one. So it doesn't really matter. So my realities and go to public HTML. And this is a WordPress that's installed. So you can see these are all the files here. Let's go up one level. This is how you get there. It's inside applications. All the steps that we covered so far are really simple. If you follow the step-by-step -step tutorial, you will know exactly what to do. And backed up by your knowledge from module two, this is easier to assimilate. I hope that you understand every step. And now let's go and set up your amazing business email. Now let's go and set up your business email with the G Suite. You need to go to gsuite.google.com. And here, let's check on the pricing. It's $5 a month. You can have up to 30 business email accounts. Here are the basic plan. Here's what you get. You get professional office suite with 30 GB storage. You got business email through Gmail video and voice conferencing. There's some uh, uh, business stuff. You have a 24 seven support by phone, email and online and 30 GB cloud storage. And it's very convenient. You turn your business email into a Gmail. That's basically what it's doing. You can access your emails rather easily through your phone, even though you can get email hosting through your web hosting company, but it's a lot convenient to go through G Suite and it's really cheap. Let's go to get started. First, you're going to have a 14 days free trial and then you start the $5 a month. So a business email, I'll do mind realities demo, which is just me. Click on next. In the US, here the drop down you can choose your country next is email you check regularly so that uh, G Suite can contact you if there's anything important I'll just put down another email does your business have a domain I already have my domain name what mindrealities.com so I have one I can use Domain name is mindrealities.com. Next. Enter your first name and last name. Here's how you want to sign in to your G Suite account and create your business email address. I want to do sue at mindrealities.com. Here is I pick a password. Next. Send you emails with tips. No thanks. So click on not a robot. Select all images with a storefront. This one is storefront. This one, this one, this one. G Suite account has been created. Now you can go to your setup. 
this. So what you need to do next is to verify that you own that domain name. So now let's click on menu setup. Go to admin console. Here's the search next. Oh, actually, okay, here. So this is your uh, control panel, admin.google.com and then your domain name. So you should take down that address here. And here you can set up your, your billing and uh, admin roles this is more for you know for companies and stuff and now inside the console let's uh, see what is important the users you are the only user here so you pay uh, the g suite by how many users you have there so try not to add any users if you add domain names it's going to be added to the same uh, user which is you and here you can set up the billing as well here you can get support 24 7 here click on more controls here you can have um, uh, domains this is something that you will need later on you can once you have more domain names you can add here so let's start the setup here you need to verify your domain to activate G Suite verify domain get started G Suite want to make sure that you do own the domain name and you are you have the right to set up a business email under that domain name. So there are different ways to do it. Let's do this um, upload HTML file to mindrealities.com and download this. So we download the file here or we have downloaded in this step by step. Uh, tutorial now you need to upload the file to your website upload to myrealities.com i downloaded so it's in my download folder let me go to my downloads so here is the one just downloaded next i need to open my file zilla and access my server here site manager demo connect now i need to go to applications my realities public html here is where uh, you know i can this is my local computer and here is my server i need to drag this to my server just like that see it's here now and verify i have uploaded the file to my website and now verify the domain name is verify because i uploaded the file to my domain name. That means I own that domain name. I can access that server, that domain name. Now continue setup. The next one, create accounts for your team. I don't need that. Set up Gmail. Now you need to set up your business uh, up and running. So here is the tutorial again. Log in to your domain host website. We use Cloudflare, so let's go to cloudflare.com and log in. Just like we are pointing the domain name to our web hosting plan, here we need to set up the email to forward to Google G Suite. So myrealities.com, we open that. And once you open that, click on DNS here. It's going to show us the DNS record, we're going to add record here so that Cloudflare knows to handle emails and forward to G Suite. So now I have successfully logged into my Cloudflare website. And now go to the control panel for your domain. We already did that. And now here is a record we need to add. We need to have a um, you know, add, and these are the values. So let's just set this up. MX, MX record, name, 
name is this sign, the add sign, server value is this, copy, paste, priority is one. So save and click on add. So now we add an MX record here. Name we have the add sign, which is means it's going to put the domain, actual domain name there. And here mail handled here, are the emails handled by Google and the priority set up by one. So we just repeat the process for the next one. Uh, it's going to be this one, uh, auto one on top of this. You had auto one, two, three, four. So now let's copy this. And uh, here we put the add sign here, which will put the, my domain name there. Here, paste. And priority for this one is five. So we change this to three, four, five. Click the app arrow. So now click on add record. So we have two now. The next one is the auto two. Priority is also five. Add sign, paste, auto two, save, add record. So now continue the next one, the auto three, with um, priority is 10 this time. So. Add sign, paste, and priority is 10. Add record. Four. Priority is also 10. Add sign, paste. Add. So now all the emails will be handled by G Suite. When someone sends you an email, and that's a demo, it's sue at myrealities.com. I, I can access uh, my business email. Now I have created these records. Save these records. I already saved these records. Verify. Okay, email set up. So now it is set up. When I access my email, I go to gmail.com and it's loading my default email right now. Once it loads, I go to my icon on the right and click on add account. I use another account. My email is sue at my uh, mind realities dot com. Next. Enter your password. Next. So that's the password you used when you set up the G Suite. And now, welcome to your new account. Accept. See, now I have a business email account that I can access from Google. If you want to check your emails on the go, you should download the Gmail app so that you can check from your phone. It's very convenient. Now let's come back to the G Suite admin console. When you have a second domain name, another business email, you do the same uh, we just did. You know, once you're in the G Suite admin, you can go there by G Suite. Dot google.com 
and sign in, sign in. which will take you here to your admin console. And when you want to set up a second domain, you click on more controls and domains. Here you click add or remove domains. Here I have a primary domain. Here I can add more domain names. Add a domain Alice of Mind Realities or add another domain. So you can add your, your second website.com or whatever. So you'll go through the same process. Once you have a second domain name, you go back to the admin console, go to users. I have one user, which is myself and click on the user. Assuming you have a second domain already and you want to give uh, yourself a second business email. So instead of uh, sue at myreality.com, you have a sue at your second domain name.com, for example. What you need to do is click on account and enter here Alice's. Click on this. And if you have second domain name here, you will have an option of choosing your second domain name. And you can add your email address here you see it's very simple you can have up to 30 business emails and it's five dollars a month altogether you don't pay any additional i hope that you see the power of the g suite for your business emails and it's really convenient for you to check your business on the go now we have covered all the action steps listed here. We bought a cloud-based web hosting. We set up a domain name. We set up um, the DNS using Cloudflare. So we link our domain name with our web hosting. We installed WordPress under our domain name inside our web hosting. We set up a FileZilla so we can do simple, easy FTP work. We can upload or download files from the server by simply drag and drop. And we set up your awesome business email by using G Suite. I hope that you see the power of this step-by-step -step training to set up your business the right way with high technology, with low budget, and with an amazing business presence. In the next module, I'm going to show you how to use WordPress to easily set up your amazing website to position you as the expert.